So I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to go about this microbe post and really what's entailed. Although it's all written in the directions, there still seems to be a little confusion, so I wanted to clear it up for you. Here is our actual microbe post page, and you're going to post your post on this screen by hitting reply to this original message right here. Once you've clicked on reply, you'll open up an editor box. And in that editor box, there'll be a number of different tools. You can see that you can change the font size. Um, you can change the paragraph layouts. You can add mathematical equations if you really wanted to, but that's not really applicable to our course. You can add tables in order to arrange the content on your page. And you can add bullets, all kinds of things that you can do here. You can change the colors of your fonts. You can highlight some sections and you can remove some of the formatting quite simply. So, for example, if you wanted to import a picture here, we're going to embed an image. You can either find that from a file that you've uploaded into Canvas, you could go straight to Flickr, or you could provide a URL for it on another site. Here is where you would reference that figure. And you could tell it about how large you'd like it, although you can drag the corners and shrink it quite easily. So let's put a picture in here. I'm just going to grab one from my course files. I have some images in here that may or may not mean anything. Oh, look, here's one of my garden. Um, I don't want it to be called that. I'm going to give it a reference. And now I can say I want it to be, because I know this picture is huge, 300 by 200 or something like that so that... Uh, we can have it actually stay on that page. So I'm going to update that. And now in my post, I have a nice picture of my garden. I can move this picture of my garden to the center of the page. And I could um, actually put it in a table in order to have more control of arrangement on the page. But this, is, this should suffice. And now let's say I want to uh, write something about this. We'll go back to left alignment, just like in a Word document. And I'm going to say, you know, my garden is cool. But I can change the formatting of this text in any number of ways. I can change the color of it. I can make it bold. I can make it much larger. So think about this as you design your post. Anyway, if you wanted then to post a YouTube video, it's quite simple. You're going to go to this media comment bar and either upload the media, a video that maybe you have on your computer, or you can simply use the embed code. So to use the embed code, what you're going to do is click down here and we're going to switch views to the HTML view in order to be able to add the embed code for your video. So I'm going to go out to YouTube and just get any old video. I'm just going to pick anything at all. Gosh, that's really hard sometimes, isn't it? But I'm going to pick this one. So let's say I want to use this one in my presentation and show my classmates something really cool about this microbial infection. I simply click on share and I take the embed code. So I want to click on the embed right here and now you'll get an embed code. This embed code we can copy. I like to use the old embed code because it's more certain to embed using the old code. So make sure the old embed code box is checked. And then we're going to go command copy, right? However you like to copy. We can go back into this post window where we are editing. And I can say paste. Now I'm going to switch views back 
and my YouTube video will be embedded right here. So I'm going to post my reply now so that you can see it. I've lost my picture somehow, but the YouTube video is embedded. Again, you can go back in and edit your post at any time, add more things to it, check out the layout. Not sure where the picture went, but we'll get that back simply by going in here, taking this again, right? I'm going to change the size so it's not so crazy big. And update. So there is my image back again. I can say done. And now I have all these things in my post. So now let's take a look at an example of a great post for these micro posts. In previous semesters, I've used Wikispaces to do this, but that required going outside of Canvas. So I thought it would be much neater to keep it inside of Canvas and call it like a discussion. So here's an example of this week's post where this student covered uh, river blindness and found some great figures from everywhere around the internet. She gives us a very nice background. She gives us a case study, gives us some intriguing stories about why river blindness is so interesting. Um, that's a really great way to grip your reader's attention. And then has added lots of multimedia pictures and references for them. And then added some YouTube videos and maps and so on and so forth and at the end has her list of sources. She cited them within the text, as you can see here, as well as citing them in her references section at the end using APA format. Let's take a look at another post of hers. Let's take a look at another student's post, period, just so you can get the idea and I'm all for as gross of a picture as you can get. Like, really get our attention as a reader in these things. That one, for example. Woo! Um, let's go. Ooh, I'm trying to get back to... the list of students. Um, let's see... another example. So Maggie here has showed us about Candida albicans, has some embedded videos, some really interesting case studies, anything to grab our attention. Pictures of the virus, how it manifests itself, gross pictures of Candida growing in the throat. Um, and then over here is where we had the student comments, but now we're going to use responses to the discussion to take care of this point. So this is where students would interact about the original post. Anyway, hopefully this has been useful for you in understanding what to do in the microbe post. By all means, contact me. I've extended the deadline until Thursday at noon so that you have time to really put this together and make a great first microbe post. Be sure to check out the rubric that's attached in the assignment so that uh, you can see how you're being graded for this submission.